Hi, I'm Rick Lee, CEO of a mobile health company. You know, I never used to worry about hypertension or cholesterol. <laughs> I mean, in school, my biggest health worry was whether or not I could complete a pass without getting nailed by an opposing charging linebacker. These days, though, I play defense against a much greater threat, hypertension, and all the problems related to it. Oh, that's not good. That means regular monitoring of my blood pressure and plenty of exercise. I'd love to tell you that my blood pressure is always in the safe zone, but even we health professionals have weak moments. Hey, can I get a side of fried onion rings with this? And then there was that early conference call that meant I didn't have time for my daily run, the one where the annual report was going to have to be reworked and corrected at the last minute to take into account late figures, which got me kind of worried because the deadline's on Friday, and that really stressed me out, which is not good for the blood pressure. And neither was the lack of sleep that night. You know what? Time to get back on track. Besides regular monitoring, it's the daily exercise that's key for me. The good news is that as long as I'm keeping up with the workouts and using my apps to track my blood pressure and taking a little friendly advice from Betsy, our chief science officer, I'll stay healthy enough to get out of the way of any charging linebacker who might come bursting through that door. I mean, one in three adults has hypertension, so I know I'm not alone. But I'm determined not to be opening the door to heart disease. Excellent. If my blood pressure were still 160, I'd never run the risk of going into Fenway and catching a Red Sox game. Too much stress. But with numbers like these, I may just have a Fenway Frank.